Totem Cuyo Black Panther 2 will be arriving in cinemas later this year, and we finally have the first trailer for the eagerly awaited sequel. The emotional trailer for was debuted at Comic Con on July 23rd during Marvel's epic presentation, and confirmed that T'Challa's death would be a part of the storyline, following the tragic death of Chadwick Boseman in August 2020. The highly anticipated MCU sequel restarted production in January 2022 and had another week-long delay due to COVID but wrapped up in March 2022. The break from November 2021 to January 2022 was to give Letitia right time to recover after an onset injury. It was confirmed back in May 2021 that the sequel would be called Black Panther – Wakanda Forever. After a couple of delays to its original May 2022 release, the sequel is set to hit cinemas in November 2022, and everything seems on track for that. Everybody involved in the production were keen to ensure it pays tribute to Boseman. We honored him by committing ourselves to the story that he started, the legacy that he started with this franchise, Wright said in May 2022. And we just committed every day to working hard, no matter what circumstances we faced. And we faced a lot of circumstances, a lot of difficult situations, but we came together as a team, and we poured everything into this movie. We don't yet know how the sequel will deal with the untimely passing of Boseman but there's still plenty of news to savor as we wait for the movie's release. So, without further ado, here's everything you need to know about Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. The queen of the most powerful nation in the world! And my entire family is gone! Have I not given everything? Black Panther 2 Release After the delay in October 2021, Black Panther Wakanda Forever will now be out in cinemas on November 11, 2022. That's a move of four months from July 2022, and the sequel takes the original place of the Marvels, which has now moved back to July 2023. While nothing is set in stone, we hope this will be the last shift for the movie. Filming started in June 2021, but as mentioned above, there was a hiatus between November 2021 to January 2022. However, production restarted in January 2022 and filming wrapped in March 2022, so hopefully, it can hit that November release date. Black Panther 2 Casts it's been confirmed that the sequel will honor the legacy of Chadwick Boseman and won't recast the role of T'Challa. Thankfully as well, there are no plans to use a digital double in the sequel. There's only one Chadwick and he's not with us, said Marvel Studios EVP Victoria Alonso. Our king, unfortunately, has died in real life, not just in fiction. And we are taking a little time to see how we return to history and what we do to honor this chapter of what has happened to us that was so unexpected, so painful, so terrible, really. Kevin Feige added, Wakanda is a place to further explore with characters and different subcultures. This was always and initially the primary focus of the next story. We're not going to have a CG Chadwick and we're not recasting T'Challa. Let us your right, Lupita Nyong'o, Winston Duke, Dan Aguirre, Angela Bassett, and Danny Sapani are all reprising their roles in the sequel as Shuri, Nakia, M'Baku, Akoi, Ramonda, and M'Kathu, respectively. Duke is reportedly set to be given an expanded role in the sequel, but the reports have yet to be confirmed by Marvel, while Narcos, Mexico star Tana Cuerda is set to play one of the villains of the sequel, confirmed to be Namor. Martin Freeman will return as CIA agent Everett Ross. Sapani recently teased a just amazing filming experience, giving high hopes for the final product. Obviously, without Chad it's very different, he said. But we're gonna keep flying that flag, keep trying to tell that story because it's just an incredible story and an incredible film. He also responded to comparisons between the first and the second film. I think we're just going to keep telling the story and honoring the great man. All of the people that are involved with that project are very close. I think it makes for a great sort of company feel. So, I imagine it's going to blow everyone away in the way the first one did. Will Michael B. Jordan return as Killmonger? It's unlikely, given that Killmonger was killed off in the first movie, but weirder things have happened. Jordan reprised his role in What If? for an alternate universe version of Killmonger. However, when asked in January 2022 about a potential MCU return, he remained coy about the prospect of a comeback. It's a character in a world that I love so much, he said. Who knows? As we all know, Marvel has their plans and their things and, you know, how things are gonna shake out. One character who we can officially confirm won't be returning is Daniel Kaluuya's W. Kabai. The actor, who played Border Chief Tribe W. Kabai in the first film, revealed that he didn't film any footage for the sequel as he was committed to the film Nope, which reunites him with Get Out director Jordan Peele, and shooting for both overlapped. 
Kaluuya confirmed the news in an interview promoting the latter movie with Rotten Tomatoes. What a trip! Black Panther 2 Plot Now that we know for sure that the role of T'Challa will not be recast, the focus of the sequel will have had to change, and all we officially know is that it will continue to explore the world of Wakanda and beyond. Along with the first trailer, we got our first official plot synopsis. Queen Ramonda, Shuri, M'Baku, Akoi and the Dora Milage fight to protect their nation from intervening world powers in the wake of King T'Challa's death, it reads. As the Wakandans strive to embrace their next chapter, the heroes must band together with the help of war dog Nakia and Everett Ross and forge a new path for the kingdom of Wakanda. It had previously been confirmed that Wakanda Forever would feature the aquatic villain Namor, thanks to early plot details from Production Weekly. Both Wakanda and Atlantis are hidden civilizations with advanced technology and increased militaristic abilities that decided to separate themselves from the rest of the world for their own safety, and in a way, out of fear, the details read. Wakanda feared that their technology would be abused. Atlantis feared that surface dwellers would come and desecrate the mythical city just as they did so many years ago. And yet their fears escalate even further when these two once hidden nations clash with each other. Kevin Feige had hinted that he wanted to explore more of Wakandan history in the sequel, so we could expect to see some historical flashbacks to explore how Wakanda became the place we saw in the first movie. Towards the end of the movie, T'Challa takes the herb again and encounters his father, where he's like, hey, man. We've kind of screwed up, and I want to change it, he told Entertainment Weekly way back in March 2019. There's that moment where all of the ancestors come behind T'Chaka. We would joke and go, I want to see. What's their story? What's that story? Who was Bashinga, the first king of Wakanda? Who's that third to the left, behind T'Chaka? What was their story in Wakanda in 1938? That would be cool. But can Angela Bassett reveal any plot points? Not one single thing, the star told Cinema Blend. There will be a Black Panther 2, look for it in November, and it will be amazing. Our director Ryan Coogler, writer, director, perfect leader. It's going to be amazing. It's going to top number one. Martin Freeman can't give specifics either, but he does have an interesting perspective about how the script evolved. Just before Chadwick died, if my memory serves correctly, the script had gone in, he told Collider. They had the script, and they were working on the script, and then Chadwick died and sort of immediately thought, oh, okay, I could see a world where there's no Black Panther then, because how can you do a Black Panther without Black Panther? So, I still don't know what that's going to look like. And no, obviously, before Chad died, the idea of doing it without him would have been a stupid idea. It would have been crazy. It was very shocking, and still is very, very strange, that he is not here.